Segway just announced a bunch of new products, including a whole new lineup of scooters, their first electric skateboard, and the one I'm most excited about, this, the E110A. It's a truly electric moped, not some hybrid e-bike that only goes 20 miles an hour. I'm really excited to check it out along with all the other new products. Here we go. Next to a noisy freeway at Segway's North American headquarters, members of the media were invited to check out its latest product announcements. Unfortunately, we were limited to doing small laps around the parking lot with each device set to its slowest mode. So this will not be a review, but just a quick look at some of the most interesting announcements, starting with the E110A. This is our sit-down uh, e-scooter. This one will give you um, about 30 miles um, in speed, miles per hour, and 35-mile uh, range. It has our Ride-Ego system, so that will help with protection features. So everything from kickstand detection to seat detection, um, everything to make sure anti-theft is like top priority, right? With uh, something like this that's um, street legal, you, you're going to make sure you want to keep it around, right? If you were to touch this, it goes off like like fireworks. Is it, right? How similar is it to the C8? Similar. Similar alarm? Yeah, similar, similar alarm. alarm. Yeah. I was able to test Segway's Ride Go security system when I reviewed the C80E moped last year, link in the description, and I had my concerns that it wouldn't be enough to prevent thieves from tossing it in the back of a truck and driving off. Otherwise, the E110A packs many more useful features than the C80, but at a much higher price point of $3,500. One of the biggest improvements of the E110A over the C80 is how much larger it is, which not only makes it feel more stable, but it actually allows for more cargo storage. You can actually lift up the seat and it has a 27 liter uh, storage container inside. This thing's also large and powerful enough to carry a passenger. So if you need to give someone a ride anywhere, you can do that. 30 miles per hour makes the E110A more practical for getting around town, but the 35 mile range is disappointing if you have longer commutes. However, Segway does have a solution. This one has an upgradable battery, so you can actually double the range of this. Is the battery, can you um, pull the battery out like you pull the C80 and take yes. it inside the charge? So oh, pull that lever, that um, handle pops up, and then you're able to pop out the battery, same as C80. All right, flick it on, here we go, first ride. Next, I got to try Segway's first electric skateboard. Well, sort of. It's actually the Shredder Kit, which is a modular product built on the 9Bot S motor that allows you to swap out components to transform it into a variety of rideables, like a unicycle, a go-kart, or in this case, an e-skate. So the Shredder Kit will give you about um, 23 miles per hour uh, with our S-Max, um, about 13 to 15 miles in range. It comes with a remote, so you can either ride it with our stem here attached, or you can take the stem off and use it as a traditional electric skateboard, and it gives you all the same capabilities as the stem. The Shredder Kit is a neat way to add versatility to an already existing device. I've always liked the idea of owning one of Segway's very fun go-karts, but don't think I'd use it nearly as often as an e-skateboard. With the Shredder Kit, you have the option of owning both. However, it does feel more like a toy, and I'll be interested to see how it compares to a dedicated e-skate when I have a chance to really try it out. Seems like it could be a great device for beginners, though. Segway also announced two new classes of kick scooters built for everyday commuting. There's the P-Series with two models priced at $1,500 and $2,000. They have max speeds of 21 to 24 miles per hour and a range of 40 to 62 miles, respectively. Then there's the GT series, for those that want some serious performance. I was obviously most interested in checking out the more expensive of the two. This is our GT2. This is the uh, faster model. This one to get you uh, where you need to go in a hurry. So we're talking acceleration of zero to 30 miles per hour in under four seconds. Uh, you also have your translucent screen. So you can see road conditions as you're riding. Yeah, Another just safety really feature, cool. yeah. So when you turn this one on, you can actually see you still, yeah, you can still <laughs> check it out. To show you how many miles you have, your battery percentage, and the difference also between the two is this one will give you two-wheel drive for a little bit more faster acceleration as well. Segway already makes some of the most reliable and accessible mobility devices on the market. Its newest additions give even more variety for all kinds of riders. We want to bring the Segway smile to the full range of our target audience, from the kids to the adults, from the parents, and also to the children. 
So of all the new products that Segway announced today, which are you most excited for? Are you into the scooters, the electric skateboard, or do you want to get on that new electric moped? Let me know down in the comments and make sure you're subscribed to CNET for great tech videos just about every day of the week. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to wear a helmet.